Max Sterling has defeated Miria, the micronized Entrati warrior, in battle. Ironically, however, the two fall in love and are married. Unable to thwart the planned union of the two races, Britai proposes an alternate plan. But his soldiers, lured by the amenities of Micronian life, begin to rebel. I've got something on the screen. It's an alien battleship, sir. Hmm. Prepare to fire main cannon. Have all weapon systems lock onto target. Systems are go. Now moving into position. Main cannon standing by to fire in your command, Captain. Hmm. I bet this is some kind of trick or something. A trick? Now where on earth would you get an idea like that from? Well, that's the way it always happens in the movies. Oh, brother. Oh? So I suppose you have a better theory, huh? Yeah. Captain Global, sir. Huh? huh? I have a message coming in. It's from the alien ship. What? They request mm -hmm. permission to approach the SDF-1. Oh, I didn't figure on Shall this. I put it up on the monitor, Captain? Mm. I repeat, we are approaching unarmed. We request a cessation of hostilities. Please hold your fire. We are approaching unarmed. What are they up to now? Suddenly, without warning, the Zentradi flagship opens fire on its own fighters as if to defend the SDF-1 from the attack. Come on, have you gone mad? Your ships were interfering with a diplomatic mission, so I disposed of them. What happens now, then? I refuse to let the Micronians go. I have my orders, Chiron, and I will hear no further discussion on the subject. Ridiculous. Hmm, hardly. Following orders from the High Command, Britai has the Zentradi flagship approach the SDF-1 with no further acts of hostility. A strange sight indeed. They're just sitting out there, Captain. I guess they're waiting for us to make a move. Perhaps they really do want peace. Why else would they attack and destroy their own fighters? Captain Global orders a squadron of Robotech fighters to fly out, meet the Zentradi emissary, and escort his vessel back to the SDF-1. I can't believe it, sir. This is really weird, escorting an enemy pod ship of all things. It sure is. And it's getting weirder all the time. Oh, brother. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, please forgive me, Your Excellency. I'm sorry. <laughs> How do these Micronians survive with such frail little bodies? <laughs> Rather an imposing sight, aren't we, eh? Attention! I am Colonel Maestroff of the United Earth Forces. I bring you greetings from our fleet commander, Captain Glovel. Huh? This is how we greet friends. Oh. I am called Exodor among my people, Minister of Affairs. It sounds rather important. Not really. <laughs> I'll take you to the commander. Uh, excuse me, Minister Exodor. Could you ask him to wait here on the flight deck? Uh, stay here and guard the pod. Yes, sir. You men look around and see if you can find him something to eat. Yes, sir. Find him something to eat? He's gotta be kidding. I bet all the food in this ship wouldn't even put a dent in his appetite. Really? I'd sure hate to see the size of their grocery bills at the end of the month. Well, we might as well get started. Very interesting. Huh? Oh. What's this? Why, this is our shopping district. Ah, yes, I believe this is where you use something called money to acquire goods. Yes, that's correct. <sighs> that picture on the building over there. Uh, uh, would you mind explaining it to me? <laughs> well, actually, it is a little hard to explain. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Most likely a military secret. Very clever. Indeed. Yes, of course. A military secret. Mm -hmm. The emissary has arrived in the main conference room, Captain. I'm on my way. Status on Zentrani vessel. Maintaining position. Very well. Don't lose contact. Oh, Claudia. Sir? Continue monitoring. If they take any hostile action, fire at once. Is that clear? Yes, sir. At last we meet face to face, Captain. Yes. Here you are. What? Hmm. Uh, uh. Oh, this is very refreshing. <laughs> Here, have another. Well, if you insist. Hmm. I think we're missing some people, aren't we? Some, but they should be arriving any minute now. In fact, this may be them. <laughs> Sir. Reporting as ordered. Ah, hello, Quadrano leader. <gasps> I'm sorry, sir. I didn't realize that you were the emissary. I found your pairing ritual quite provocative. Oh, you observed the wedding ceremony. Oh, you probably wondered why we did it. Yes, just as you're probably wondering what I'm doing here. Well, yes, I was, sir. And this must be the male half of your pair. Uh, huh? that's right, sir. Uh, gee, you don't seem too thrilled about it. Reporting. Hey, Max, you don't look so good. Are you all right? That's it. Huh? The micronization process has affected my memory. You're the two hostages from Dolce's flagship, aren't you? What's happening here? This time the circumstances are a bit different, but tell me, how did you manage to escape? Was it some secret micronium mm -hmm. power? Uh, I guess so. Mm-hmm. That's another one of your military secrets. Here they are now. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's Minister Exidor! I did not expect to see the instigators of our mass defection show up. Your Excellency, it wasn't our fault. That's right. We didn't mean it, sir. We had no control, sir. You may relax. I have no intention of harming you. Phew. <sighs> Captain Global, the ship's computer will record the proceedings. Very good. Let us begin. Now then, Minister Exeter. We are unclear as to the exact purpose of your mission here. We've been told very little so far. Won't you please enlighten us? Your curiosity is understandable, but not everyone is present yet, Captain. What? We would like to know more oh. about two of your kind, gentlemen. The first possesses powers that are truly extraordinary. And a female who's the core of your psychological assault. Incredible. I think he means that movie. They must have seen it and think Lynn Kyle's powers are real. There is clearly a misunderstanding here. And what does he mean, psychological assault? I can't think of anyone who would be at the core of a psychological assault. It would be helpful if you could be more specific about the female. She appears to be performing some kind of ritual. A strange little chant. Do you think he... No, he couldn't. Sure he could. You know. Stage fright, go away. This is my big day. Uh, this is my... So he is talking, talking about, about me, man. La 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 I don't believe this. They must think that Min Mei's singing is a weapon of some kind. Have the girl brought here. That's her, yes. I'm getting tired of being pushed around by the military. Now... Would somebody mind explaining why it was so important for us to come here? Don't expect any answers from them, Minmei. They have no concern at all about what we want. That's the way it is, right? Enough of this nonsense. You will answer our questions. What I am about to tell you is in the strictest confidence. We need total cooperation from both of you. Do you understand? Yes. Try to be a little more cooperative with them. Your hostility serves no purpose, don't you see? Now, Mr. Minister, if you would kindly tell us what this is all about. All in due time. But for now, it will have to suffice that our mission here is of the highest priority to us, as well as to yourselves. Mm, reading the Centradi's mind is impossible. I wish I knew his real motive for these negotiations. 
Back on Earth, at the headquarters of the United Defense Forces, all eyes are turned on the battle fortress as they follow the negotiations with nervous anticipation. Attention all personnel, maintain code B alert. I repeat, all personnel maintain code B alert. How do you like your new job? Mm -hmm. Everything okay? Fine, fine. I understand that SDF-1 and the Zentradi fleet have reached a ceasefire agreement. That's what I hear. Well, if things keep going this way, maybe we won't have to use the Grand Cannon after all. Uh, it's possible, but I doubt it. Mm. Listen, Lisa. Uh, Don't count on the Zentradi. They're completely untrustworthy. Well, I can't stand around here talking all day. I have work to do. If anything comes up you need me for, I'll be in the Central Core. Yes, sir. Officer Lin, what is your military rank? I'm a civilian. A civilian? With your superpowers, I doubt it. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, 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 uh. This man is telling you the truth. Lin Kyle possesses no superpowers. For that matter, none of us in this room possess the powers you're referring to. But we saw him on our monitors. Oh, that was a movie, merely a form of entertainment. Then what about the energy barrier and destruction waves? A pinpoint force field and basic explosives. Both of these are part of our normal technology. It does appear we've made a great mistake. But you cannot possibly deny the power of the female song. I wouldn't dream of it. Hmm? What? Huh? He huh? won't deny it because it's true. Then Mei Song has incredible power. <laughs> This is not the first time we've encountered something like this. Many years ago, we were exposed to a society similar to yours, and it nearly destroyed us. What do you mean, destroyed? To his entrade, fighting is a way of life. Our entire history is made up of nothing but battle after glorious battle. However, exposure to an open society made our soldiers refuse to fight. Dulza, our Commander-in-Chief, does not wish to make the same mistake that our ancestors did. Therefore, he has sent me here to observe you. I'm afraid after he reads my report, he will order the main fleet to launch an all-out attack on the Earth once he has recovered the protoculture factory. The main fleet, huh? Do you think that's the hmm? same as the one in your report? Yes, sir. Commander, how long do you intend for this situation to go on? Any continuation of the hostilities would be unwise due to the current phenomenon. Is that right? Well, I expect a different solution when the main fleet arrives. Did you say the main fleet? What do they have to do with any of this? I reported my findings to the Commander-in-Chief, and His Majesty has decided to set the main fleet into motion. So Dolza now feels a Micromian society represents a threat, does he? He does. Well then, we are doomed along with the Micromians. We need their protoculture. We must have theirs because our supply is exhausted. What is that? Are you certain of this? Yes, yes. You know what this means then. I understand. Hmm. You must prepare yourselves to escape this star system. And leave the Earth defenseless? Yes. That is out of the question. We have sworn to defend our planet against any aggression. Yes, I understand. We would not act any differently. And since escape for us would be difficult without your help, it seems that we shall soon be fighting a common enemy. Huh? What's that? Our flagship has just now informed me that the main fleet is headed for this star system. Huh? The main fleet? Yes. Consisting of more than 4,800,000 battle-ready warships. With the destructive force of a small nova. All right, then. It looks as though we have an important decision to make. Whether or not the Earth can survive such an attack, only time will tell. We'll give it our best shot. Mm. You're crazy! Mm. A fleet of almost five million? There's no way we can fight them off. We're <sighs> finished. Myriad, darling, I'm afraid this might be the end for us. I don't care about that, my love. As long as I'm at your side in battle. Together. It's not over yet! There might still be a way! Huh? Explain. So far, this vessel of yours has proven itself indestructible. I'm not sure how, but there must be a way to win! And at this very moment...
but all of Earth's defense reserves are being mounted and put on a 24-hour emergency status. Any member of the emergency defense reserve who has not already reported for duty, please do so immediately. Our sensors are still picking up extremely high energy levels from sectors 4 through 12 of enemy-occupied space. This could be the displacement caused by hyperspace refold activity. However, we're still trying to get an accurate measurement of its magnitude. It doesn't look so good. Ah, uh, Admiral. Lisa, dear, I'll talk to you later. Well, what is it? Huh? Father, what's going to happen to the ship? It'll be destroyed. We want to use it to draw their fire away from the Earth and the rest of our forces. Sort of a decoy. No, you can't! I'm sorry, Lisa. There's no other choice. Father, may I ask a personal favor? What is it? I want you to send me back to the Battle Fortress. No, that's completely out of the question. My place is with those whom I've fought alongside for so long, don't you understand? Father, you've got to let me go back up! You're serious about this? Yes, believe me! I'm sorry, but... But you won't. I can't permit it. I cannot allow my only daughter to sacrifice her life in a, a foolish attempt at heroism. Can't you understand that? I am an officer. Of course. Then reassign me, please! Listen to me. Even though I'm your father, I promise you, if you try to leave, I'll have you thrown in the brig. <sighs> <laughs> What now, Zonia? Well, there are very few options, and Dozo will probably exterminate us now that we've been exposed to the Micronium. I will stay and face the fleet. It will be a great honor to go with you into battle, Commander. Commendable. May you win every fight. And you too, Retai. Chiron, your plan. You know my answer. The odds are too great. My fight can't win, Retai. As I expected, Chiron, I wasn't depending on you anyway. You would be destroyed! All right, let's go. What coordinates? Any place else in the universe but here. Did you hear me? But, sir... What is it? We can't run. You think not? Watch this. Hear my thoughts, Lord Doza. And take a good look at me while you still can, for this is the final battle of Breetai. Assuming you're too weak to fight, Dolza will divide his fleet and attack from all four sides, sealing off any avenue of escape. This will be your only chance. Our only chance? That is correct, Commander. I'll explain. If you are able to destroy their lead flagship, it will throw their whole fleet into chaos. Simple military strategy. Of course. In short, we crush the head of the snake. With their attack forces in disarray, our only chance for survival is to utilize the combined forces of the SDF-1 and our battle fleet. Do you realize what you're saying? Since Dulce knows we have already been exposed to your culture, there is no option but to fight. I'm glad that we are fighting on the same side. Hmm? Yes, so am I. Linmei, Without your singing, the alliance between our people would not have been possible. Who? Me? Really? Although I do not profess to completely understand you, Micronians, I now realize the importance of your singing. It gives you the strength and courage to face the enemy against all odds. Minmei, will you sing for us so we may hope for victory? Please, Miss Minmei. <laughs> of course! Sometimes I dream with open eyes. I dream of falling in love. To be in love must be the sweetest feeling that a girl can feel. To be in love, to live a dream with somebody.
have to go now. Main sensors picking up immeasurable hyperspace default activity. What? Battle stations, huh? repeat. All personnel, battle stations. As millions of Zentradi battleships continue to default from hyperspace, they begin to surround the Earth in swarms, waiting for the order to attack. You better alert Captain Global of enemy status, Claudia. Yeah. Sir, Monitor 3 shows the enemy's position. Well, I'm afraid this is it. situation for everyone. A standoff which could end in disaster for all of humanity, as well as those on the SDF-1. Our next episode finds the Earth surrounded by Dolza's armada of over four million vessels sent to destroy the Earth and the SDF-1. It's a time for final reflections and a last attempt to defeat the vastly superior forces of the Zentradi by Earth's Robotech defenders. Be watching for Force of Arms, the next action-packed episode of Robotech.